Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Acool Mini LED pin spot light. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful, I'll put a link to this on Amazon in the description. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So this has three lights on it. It's red, green, blue, and white. The voltage is 90 to 240 volts, 50 to 60 hertz. Power is DC 12 volts at two amps. Auto play, remote control. Here's a happy unhappy card. There's user manual. It says the light can be placed on the floor or hung by a truss by the bracket. Perfect for a DJ band, club, show, dance, and disco ball. It comes with a light with the bracket, one remote control, and one user manual. Here are the specs. We went over the power voltage already. It says LED one piece, four in one RGBW LED, four modes, jump, single color, breathe, or gradual, four static colors, red, green, blue, and white. Power consumption is 15 watts. Product weight is 0.95 pounds. Package size is 8.5 by 4.2 by 5.5 inches. Power cord is 74 inches. And then here it says note, it says no DMX. Please keep the remote control for future use. So this doesn't tie into DMX, which is a light control system. It is not waterproof, so keep away from moisture and water. Confirm the supplied voltage is stable and meets the requirements. Please do not look at the light directly. It may damage your eyes. To get better light effect, use fog machine in a dark environment. So I like that they tell you that this is not DMX and or waterproof. And it does say that on the Amazon page too. So you don't have to buy this and open up the package to see that. It's listed right on the listing on the page. It's nice to see that they're not misrepresenting or trying to confuse people with those features because some people need a DMX compatible light and this is not a good option for those people. And it comes with a six foot power cord. So for many applications, you won't need an extension cord. So there's the light. Here's the remote. Here's the bracket. So you can control many of these lights with a single remote control. So there's the bracket. There's a cover on the lens here. And here's the remote control. It has a little tab you pull here to activate the battery. So I'll get this plugged in. There we go. So it's in a color change mode right now. So the case here is made of plastic and it does have vents back here. So these are open slots. So let's go through the remote. We can turn it off, on. We have red, green, blue, and white. Then we have gradual. So this will change between the colors. We have jump. This will jump between the colors. And then we have breathe. So this is a monochrome gradual change. Then we have speed. So that will make it change faster. Then we have the mode change. So let me get this set up and I'll point it at the wall so we can take a look at it projected onto a wall. Okay, so I have the spotlight about six foot from this wall and I measured that dot on the wall and it's about 13 inches. So it's hard to represent the color accuracy with my camera, but this is a very bright kind of red color. In the camera, it looks a little bit more dull, but it's much more vibrant in real life. So here's the green color, there's the red, and there's the blue. And now there's the white. So we're back to red. So we'll go to gradual. So there you can see it changing colors. And here's jump. So that's going pretty fast. I can slow that down. And here's breathe. Of course, I can speed that up. Now you may see a little flashing in the camera too, and that is not happening in real life. At least I can't see it. It may be flashing at some very high frequency, but it's not visible to the human eye. So this also has a manual focus feature. 
So you can take the lens here and rotate it, and this will sharpen it up or soften it up. So this comes out quite a ways, actually. So that comes out. I can thread it back in. So I'll show you what that looks like on the wall. Okay, so you can see this looks pretty sharp right now. So I'll change the focus on it and we'll soften it up. So that might actually even be a little bit sharper there. So you can see there the edges are a lot softer. So depending on how far away you're projecting, you'll need to adjust that to sharpen or soften up the edges. So I'm going to readjust this light a little bit. Okay, so here I have the light on the floor shining up, and you can see the light is a little bit more spread out. So that's another effect you can get out of this. So if you had a bunch of these, you could line them all up, pointing at different things you want to highlight, and then you can use the single remote to control all of them. So there was a question asked on the Amazon listing if this will retain the mode it's on when it's off. So if I turn it off with the remote and turn it on with the remote, it will retain that. But it says if you switch it off, it will not. So I'm going to test that now. I'll turn it to blue. I'll switch my power off. I'll turn it back on. Okay, so it switched back to the default mode. So that's just something to keep in mind that if you wanted to power this with, say, a smart switch or something to turn it on, it won't automatically go back to the mode you were previously using. But if you do use the remote control to turn it off, then it will. So that's something you'll need to take into account when you're controlling this. And if you need something that stays in the same mode when you turn it off with a remote switch, aside from the remote control, then this may not work for you. So this has been on about 15 minutes and it's warm, but it's not hot. So I can easily hold it, you know? I mean, if it was a cold day, this would barely warm your hands. I mean, it probably would a little bit, but. So a light like this would work well for a small stage. So if you had, say, a small children's theater, you could use this to highlight artwork for decorations, things like that. You could point this at a mirror ball to disperse the light around a room. So that would be a really good use for something like this. You could point this at a picture. You could use it for all sorts of lighting needs. So I showed it six foot from a wall, but if you back up further, the light's obviously going to get bigger and it will be not quite as bright. So it'll be spread out a little bit more. So that's the effect you'll achieve by having it further away. But I do think this would work best in smaller things. I don't think you'd want to use this at a large rock concert. I don't think this is quite powerful enough. But this would certainly work well in, like, say, a school or a library or, like, say, a small theater, things like that. I was at a recreational center once, and they had a small, like, theater area for children. A light like this would have been perfect for that area. And this certainly could work well for smaller concerts and smaller areas. I think this could work great in a classroom or say a bar or a club and like a professional bar or a home bar, either one could use something like this. So that's the Acool LED Pin Spot Light. That's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.